my friends and you are my friends and welcome to your match day reaction following a seven goal thriller and we've been practicing this so bear with us Massimo 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 Closest you're going to get to me doing that ever again. But how good was the Green King man of the match this evening, Massimo Luongo, for you? He absolutely bossed that midfield in the first half with Sam Morsey. And Town had to do that in the first half because we wouldn't have won the game otherwise. N well, n yeah. It was two and throw, back and forth. I thought we'd lost it at 3 3 because I thought there was only one team going to win it. I need to lie down, Phil. I'm not going to yeah, lie, I'm mate. Say, oh, my head's spinning. My, my team this afternoon, I mean, say, you could say another Jekyll and Hyde performance. First half, we bossed it. First half, we blitzed them. First half, we went hard and fast and got the goals. Importantly, in the first half. Second half, different story. They came out. They tinkered at half time. They pushed the bodies forward. And they got the goals in the second half to draw level at 3-3. And in the dying minutes of the game, when all looked so nervy and dodgy, we managed to find that extra little bit from superstar Massimo, 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 Massimo. Luongo with Good an finish. absolute terrific volley into the top right-hand corner to make it 4-3. And that's how it finished. It was but, a really good finish from Massimo, wasn't it? The it sort of was absolutely where... terrific. He picked his spot and he absolutely placed it in the right place to make it 4-3. But it was such a good placement. It's one of those goals in, you know, in a game where the, the whole crowd don't know it's going in until it's hit the back of the net. And then all in unison, you erupt and the hairs in the back of your neck just go upright. And it was just an awesome moment. To cap off a man of the match performance this afternoon from Mass, who thoroughly deserved it. We had all the space and time in that first half. Really, we should have been five at half time. Five at least at half time, in, in my opinion. Could have been. And uh, we just, we just, you know, we are creating so many chances. We, we know we are not going to problem going forward. But you know, once you commit those bodies forward, you leave leave space at the back, and that's what Blackburn did in the second half. They exposed that space at the back, and they managed to draw level through some. Good finishes, I must say. That third Blackburn goal by, uh, I think, Schmodix, uh, who sorted it past Lackey. I thought I was fearing the worst. And then when Davis went down, you know, on 90 minutes, thinking we'd only have 10 men to play with the last seven minutes because we made all our subs. We played all our cards. Three games in a week is a bit much for 11 same players to handle within seven or eight days. And we came through strongly. We came through in the end, but... That first half this afternoon was the difference for me. You're excited about this game, aren't you? Yes, I am. I am. I was I was thinking last night, I was thinking, I was thinking, what's gonna happen today, Phil? What's gonna happen? I, I didn't know what the score was gonna be. I, I predicted a 2-0 this morning, but uh, it didn't turn out to be anything but 2-0. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, before the game, I walked in with with a gentleman who I'd never met before, and I, I said to him, outside of the Leeds game, we don't really concede too many goals. Lo and behold, we can see three, um, having been 3-1 up. It, it, it's, it's the, what, you're somebody who said before we started this, I don't know what to say. You suddenly found a fifth gear, but the podcast is still here, still flipping speechless. I haven't got a clue what I've just witnessed, what I've just seen, and what I've just heard, to be fair. But who's your man of the match? Massimo? Massimo, 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 Massimo. Luongo. And as always, is there anything else to win the game? Yes, it could have, it could have been it could have been five all this afternoon. It could have been it could have been a ten goal thriller. We could have been five up at half time. And if it hadn't been for Vaz again in the second half, who put in a stellar performance despite the three goals that we conceded this afternoon, could have been five all. It could have been a five all thriller, ladies and gentlemen. But it didn't. It finished four three, and for once we were on the right side of a seven goal thriller. Roll on Wolverhampton in the League Cup midweek. Roll on Huddersfield next Saturday, which I will be looking forward to the eight-hour coach journey next Saturday afternoon. How long? I don't know. I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. As always, fact-checking spot on here and talking town.
Uh, Aidy, come on over, my man. Uh, apologies if you're getting buffering. It is a live broadcast. It is what we do outside Portman Road every single home game. Sometimes people want to loiter, AD, and the, yes, internet, right. the internet just doesn't want to play ball. Yeah. It's it's one of those evenings, right, where yep. people don't want to go home. No, and uh, and I can understand why as well, because, well, pinch me, please, because I just cannot um, understand what I've, I've witnessed this afternoon. Um, as a team that um, is so actually good, as good as Leeds, I would say, and um, we've 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 almost matched them uh, uh, for class this afternoon. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I thought that um, Morsey was very very active in midfield, and well, he sort of helped us out a lot. And Hutchison, when he came on, for goodness' sake, he he came on on uh, Tuesday against Southampton, made his uh, his difference, his tricks, everything else, and oh as well. And it's just, well, it's, it's brilliant. It really is brilliant. It is brilliant. And obviously you were there at South, Southampton on Tuesday. Yep. You're here today. Yep. Very different games, yes. obviously. Yes. One was very much a, a defensive, solid performance yes. without yes. the ball. Yes. The other one today, not so solid in defence. Yeah, yes, absolutely. What, what, what's the difference for you in, between our, our home approach and our away approach? What, why are we so open, it seems, at Portman Road? The difference, uh, well, you got to see sort of complete actual difference when we played um, Southampton, you know, because Southampton um, uh, were just a completely different class in sort of the lower class as opposed to the higher class uh, because, you know, they they were really struggled and, and it's a team that is on the down at the moment. And uh, But... Um, but I think the uh, the crowd obviously is another um, extra man on the pitch as well. You know, we get uh, behind the team as we always have done, and it's it helps to create the atmosphere. Um, not so sort of actually taking away that the away supporters um, just as good. Uh, we always get behind the team. You know, there's the songs, the Massimo song, of course. It's even in my head. Ha ha. Uh huh. <laughs> it's, it, it is. You're right. The, the, and McKenna obviously spoke about that before the game, did he? About the fans sticking with us yes. and coming on that journey with us and, and, and being that 12th man. And we were today. Yes. It could have started all so wrong. Yes. Obviously, Haladki had an altercation with the Blackburn player. Yes. In the first few minutes. I've seen them given. Yeah. Did you have a, a perspective on that? Yes, that was that, that, that was very, very close, I must say. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we. <laughs> obviously, it wasn't, but, uh, you know, that, 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 that sort of just. Um, one thing that I would say about um, Aladki is that he, yes, he he played well. He played well. We had some massive saves as well, but he had uh, some dodgy moments as well. Um, and uh, and I've said um, on the pod actually before that uh, we've had he sort of, he sort he sort of, uh, makes me a bit nervous really. But he's told to play like this. He can't yeah. help it. Uh, at asked to play actually from the back, actually the forward as. Um, as Blackburn did as well. Uh, I, I think it's important to really... note in those moments that you're talking about there is McKenna's reaction on the sidelines. Yes. Always applauding. Yeah, always yes, raising yes. his hands in applause yes. because he wants his goalkeeper particularly, but also his back four, to be brave in those moments. Yes. Because that's how, as you saw in the second half of Blackburn, that's how you spring the transition from yeah. defending to attacking yes. with men over, yeah, overload. Yeah, yeah. And that's what Blackburn probably did very well in the second half, Absolutely. as opposed to the first, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, Where absolutely. they were they were drawing us in yes. to press yep. and then beating our press yes. and, and then hitting us with four or five. And, and Sam is gamodic, so as we've seen so many yeah. times, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. If you give him five, ten yards, Absolutely. he's going to hurt you. He is. He is. You're very much so. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's been a good. Uh, it's been a good afternoon. Let, let's sort of uh, let's face it. It's been great, and um, uh, things things could have been actually different actually towards the end. You know, uh, when 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 sort so, so that got to the nervous nineties squeaky bottom time as they call it. It was a. Uh, well, it's yeah. nice to say that. Calling the phrase. Because <laughs> we've got a brand new YouTube member, Brian Crane. Appreciate the support, Brian. Thank you for coming to the Talking Town Fifth Standard. And Brian says, I'm 94. I'm not sure I can take much more of this. I'm yes. 33. Yes. And I feel the same as Brian. Yes. I saw I had a chap who sort of um, stood actually next to us uh, or sort of sat next to us for a long, long time, Fred. You know, he's a friend, friend of, uh, of our friend uh, 
um, that's his granddad Lee, oh. and um, he um, he he was a great little chap. And uh, and one one of his uh, famous phrase was, "You can't come here with a weak heart." And uh, this afternoon, if you had a weak heart this afternoon, you know you did. But yeah, it's 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 sort of nice actually to be in this fantastic actually position. It it sort of was harder than uh, than uh, Tuesday, but uh, um, Blackburn are a good team. But we are now joint top, and Norwich lost. Yes, Not just lost. They got well and truly. Yeah, beat. well and truly lost. I appreciate Absolutely. you coming on, AD, as always. You're welcome. Um, You're welcome. If you get this call in for me, we'll hear from Mr. Plum. Before we do, keep your comments coming in. We appreciate every single one of them. I'll come to them as soon as I can. Obviously, we are in a live broadcast here. Colin. Hello. Hello. Uh, Martin, um, how are you? We, we know Massimo got man of the match. Uh-huh. But who was your second man of the match? Who would have pushed Massimo close for you and why? Alagi. Talk to me. Why? I, it, I know it seems a little bit strange when, a, when, when your goalkeeper... Let me just put this down for a sec, Mark. When, uh, when your goalkeeper let in three goals, but... He made, he, I can't even remember how many saves he had to make. He made a lot of saves today. He did. He made a bit lot of big saves. Look, Mike said just now a minute ago, and I must admit I do, I, 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 I do agree with him. Right, his kicking today weren't the best. Uh, I think we all would say that probably, um, sure. and I, and I would agree with that. Um, you know, obviously in the next however long, the next three or four weeks, I'd say probably about that. Um, Kieran's got a really uh, massive, massive decision to make. Um, has Ke- uh, sorry, has um, Vaz let anybody down? No, no, nobody whatsoever because we're we're joint top of the championship. We're Leicester City on twenty one points. So, like everybody else in the in in the side, yeah. nobody's let anybody down, and especially Alagi because, you know, okay, he's let a couple in here and a couple in there. But, you know, I suppose a lot of people will say, well, you know, the midfield players and the forward, forwards are, um, are getting him out of jail. But I, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that because because he's doing his job. Although he's letting goals in, I know it seems silly to say. He's letting goals in, but he's also making a lot of important saves to keep us in games at big time, at big moments. And yeah, certainly none of the goals you could say he probably, you know, he, he could have done anything weird. We've got a couple of comments here. Adam Wade had likely needs a few minutes with the bench. Walton Town can't come soon enough. Uh, Norman would say we saw the good and bad of her likely. What would you say to fans um, that, you know, with those sort of comments? What, what, what Norman said there, I, I, you know, I, I've got to agree with. You know, I think we did see the good and the bad of uh, Vaz today. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like I say, I'll, I'll say it until I'm blue in the face. I mean, he's let nobody down. Absolutely not. He has let nobody down. Um, but we always talk about fine margins, don't we, Martin? We do. And and today was the perfect example. I mean, you had, I think it might have been 46, 47, or 46 to 47 minutes. And brought his through. That goes in 4-1. It is game oh, set yeah, and match. It's dead, like dead, say it yeah, well, it's dead it. and over. Yeah. It's game set and match. Yeah. yeah here we was. And I, and, 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 I, and I don't know, because I haven't got the, the stats in front of me. I don't know, 10, 15 minutes later, we're 3-3. Three, three. Unbelievable. Fine margins. And Rich, like he said earlier, and he's absolutely spot on, you let, you, let, you let teams in this league give them half a chance, they will punish yep. you. I mean, look at Sammy Smoddix today. I mean, people can say what they like about that guy. I mean, he started off at Colchester. He was always there to be poached. You know, he was local. I mean, I think that lad is a top player at this Very level. At this level, he scored two worldies last week for Blackburn. Um, I think I forget who that was against. I think it was in a victory, and 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 he's um, and he's um, he's put one in the top corner today. Very very good player that lad. Uh, obviously, Morsi got his yellow card. Will miss the yeah. Huddersfield trip. Yep. What are your thoughts on that before we bring in the fisherman? Well, I mean. Obviously, he's missing, and, that, and, and I'd say, obviously, 99.99% chance Taylor will start. Um, like I said to Rich earlier, I think, to be honest with you, Martin, I think that might be, as opposed to Southampton away, Huddersfield away, I think might be just about the perfect fixture for Taylor to come into, you know, because I think, you know, he's a little... He's, he's a little just a tad, a little bit out of his depth the other day, I thought. Um, and, and that showed a little bit. And I, I felt for him. Um, but, um, 
No, I think Saturday at Huddersfield, I think that could be just about the right place um, for him to show what he can do. But you'd go, you'd go Taylor and Maz next. Oh, uh, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to say, <laughs> just got to say something about Luongo. Far away, mate, yeah. I mean, that bloke, I'll tell you what, he gets better and better and better every week. That bloke, I'll tell you what, he worked, for me, would definitely be a nine today. Um, bordering on 9.5. I tell you, that bloke is just like one of those um, Duracell bunnies. He just, just keeps, keeps going, going and going and going. But uh, no, fantastic day, fantastic game, fantastic result. And I thought the fans were fantastic. Yeah, they kept, kept with the team. Now, there have been a lot of crowds, 3-1, 3-2, 3-3, 3-3, went against their side then. They didn't. They kept with them. They did. And that helped. It really helped a lot. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So yeah, um, all in all, Perfect. fantastic. And and uh, 21 points out of 24, whoever would have predicted that apart from me and Martin. <laughs> Absolutely, mate. Always. Take, take care. We'll bring the fishermen in for... Uh, oh, and Mike. And Mike. Hello, oh, uh, I want to talk to you, Mike. Uh, <coughs> oh, yeah. Come on for me. Because Sorry, something we've, we've often said or heard, mm. I'll Cameron Burgess... There, by the way. I know, I heard. ...can't play football as well as Luke Wolfenden. Well, as Roy Clark says today, great ball by Burgess for her skull. Um... Look, let's start from the beginning, really. You know, we go 1-0 oh, yeah. up and it was... Um, look, they they scored their equaliser. It was a good goal. Couldn't complain. They worked it well. Um, and then we went 2-1 and 3-1. And the goals were just like... We thought it was going to be our cricket school come mm -hmm. half-time. And then we come out that second half and we capitulated for about 20 minutes. Uh, our midfield went missing. Defensively, we were all over the shop. And bang, 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. But this is the difference between where we are now and where we were for, say, 16 to 18 years. Before this, before McKenna and the owners coming in, we'd have lost that game heavily. Mm. Really would. Um, and, you know, to Luongo to come up with the winner at the end was just, well, oh, I've lost my voice, really. Yeah, voice I can tell you've lost your voice. Yeah, <clears throat> I, tell yeah I wasn't very pleased at 3 3, but, and look, a lad he pulled off a worldie today, but then was let let us down with some of his kicking. It does in worry regards, me because his kicking was poor. I was right behind him in that second half. His kicking was poor, mate. It really wasn't great. And look, you have to remember, look. Let's give, let's give some a laggy some credit because he does. He pulled off some worldies today. Well, a couple of worldies, I'd say. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Um, but he's also a keeper that's come from League Two. Never had much game time in League One. And he's playing in the championship now. So look, he's he's doing a job. Is he as good as Walton? No. No. Okay. Don't have, right. I don't think he is personally. I think Walton commands his area better. And I used to say Alag Keith's kicking was better, but after again today it's, it's just that fine margins. But it, it, years it, ago we would have lost that game today. Oh absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um <clears throat> talking of years ago, obviously we we didn't have the quality we've got on the football field now, and one of those is Nathan Broadhead. Just just how good was he this afternoon? Because obviously, there were some question marks heading in. Will, we, will he get picked? Or will you stick with Amari? Obviously, he brought Broadhead in. And he got rewarded, didn't he, McKenna? Well, I mean, oh, Broadhead was just a bit bit tasty, wasn't he? Let's be honest with you. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, some, yeah sometimes Broadhead's unplayable. Mm. When he's running at players. I thought Hutchinson come on and done a really good job for Burns. Burns played well in that First half, second half, got a bit found wanting. Yeah. Um, and the right decision. I think the substitutions by McKenna Day was bang on. Yeah. And to think after the after the um, Bristol Rovers game, people like Matt and myself and others were questioning whether McKeon and McKenna's got the job. We're good enough to do the job. And I'm happy to sit here and say, yeah, do you know what? We got it wrong. And we were wrong. <laughs> but at the time, you know, it's, it, it, you know, but like I say, but I've also got things right. It's one of the, yeah, oh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's not the fact you're wrong. It's just one of those opinions where you, you yeah. hear it now because yeah. it's gone so well. You yeah. can't help but laugh. Well, yeah, of course you like can. Yeah. The sky no. is red. But the thing is, like you say, if, if you're going to come out, if you're going to come out with statements, you've got to stand by when you're wrong and admit you're wrong. Absolutely, yeah. You know, and in my case, you know, that's 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 I'm happy to say that. But you know, we've it's, all got them wrong, Mike. Well, I don't know. Raheem Harper says hi. <laughs> Mike, Mike, <laughs> Mike, question for you: How's Norwich got them? Oh, oh, what a scam. <laughs> hey, hey. Keep it clean, please. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what happened today, Norwich? 
<laughs> Brilliant. Any final words before I bring Ben in for the final word? Um, I got no final word, mate. Other than fucking come on, <laughs> Ben. <laughs> over to you, mate. Did did that did that Norwich bloke score today? I can't even remember his name. No idea. No. Idea. Uh, I, I hope he did. I got no idea. Um, ben, final word. Give it to us. In your, in your best Pep Guardiola. What did we just witness? Tell the people at home, Ben. Break it down for them. T- it's not what I said to Josh at half time and said to my dad about five minutes ago. It's a tale of two halves. Oh, I like that. That's a pun already. <laughs> this boy's going to go far, ladies and gentlemen. First half, we were the best team, and I said to Josh at like you'll say later on that they were the worst team to turn up at Portman Road and the second half John Dahl Thomason tactically got it right McKenna got it wrong until the substitutions and the substitutions win games and that's what yeah. happened yeah they do and, and John Dahl Thomason's substitution was, was, was the turning point yeah. wasn't it because they brought the winger on who hugged the touchline stretched the game and gave Kamodic so much space in the centre of midfield that he could almost have a tea party at times. He could. He could. We're going to give him the key to fucking Ipswich at some point. Sam he Smodics. loves playing us, doesn't he? He loves playing against it. He's turning into the modern day David Newton. I just said Jordan Rhodes. <laughs> but. Take your pit. There's been yeah. plenty of, I mean, Billy Sharp, who've had a conversation Sharp. at any point. Um, it, yeah, there's plenty of players over the years that have enjoyed playing against Ipswich. But uh, he won't have enjoyed playing against Morsey, particularly. No. Because Morsey again today. We've, we've given Massa Murray's flowers. The captain got his yellow, but they're giving him the flowers because I thought he, got, he was He got his yellow and his game management. Apart from, apart from one or two times, where I thought he's got it wrong here and he's just got the ball at the last minute. And I'm thinking, fair play, as your captain. Lead, boy, your performances. You don't necessarily have to bollock anybody, apart from when you bollocked and had people taken full fucking years of kickable. Yeah. Uh, Adam Wade, I know you might know. What was yeah. Labbert's points total we went down? We'd be amazed at how quick we can meet it. Yeah, he's beat. Uh, Lam- Lambert's points total, I think, it's was... got to be more than 21. Behave yourself. I think it's 27. I think it's 27. Think? You doubt her. Yeah, doubt her over there. I think he got 27. I might be wrong. 27. Not far away. Matt Roper, the three losses this year, one fast or foggy day at Oxford. We don't count that, do we, Ben? Yes, uh, that's, that's not over the game. Late goal versus Burnley, who was starting with the championship, and then Leeds, who came down from the Prem. Again, we don't count that, really, because no. they lost half their players the week after, didn't they? Yeah. So, Sinister, yeah. Went the town on beaten. Uh, <laughs> Norwich just about count how many goals they lit on one hand. <laughs> Should have read that before I read it. You should have done before I read it out. This is a live broadcast. I do apologise. Uh, Walter Strabek in for me, says the cruncher, the good doctor. We should, we sh- uh, again, Zurich. Luongo, free transfer, by the way. He couldn't get into Borough. Uh, that's an interesting one. But he's still, Luongo for me, still got his injury doubts. And I think you probably could have brought on Jack Taylor because Luongo looked fucking shattered after about 60. Yeah. And you just think, and just get that little bit of energy in midfield, even if it's fucking Don Ball after Taylor does come on. If you bring on Don Ball, that's a little bit more stability. But I think, you know, if we carry this on in January, we'll improve again and then we'll, fuck it, we'll get promoted. Uh, I want to let, uh, let the ladies and gentlemen know at home. You know, this is a live broadcast. This is passionate football fans. You will hear fragrant language. <laughs> Apologies to anyone listening offended. But don't listen. If you particularly, get offended. <laughs> particularly if you're following the fisherman, Ben, because obviously you've got to raise the, the language level, yeah. right? Because yeah. you've got to keep escalating it higher. Um, but anyway, these two, Ben and Josh, will be giving you your team ratings over on TikTok. The Chocolate Brothers Reboot 2023. Um... They're so in sync, right? I just want to tell this story before we go, Ben. They're so in sync. To decide who was doing the team ratings this evening, they did rock, paper, scissors three times because two out of the three times they got the exact same result. And I'm not even joking. It's just something to see these two. Is he your best friend? Yeah. He's the best friend. Love that. Right. Thanks for watching. We are back tomorrow at 1.30. Um, 
Stephanie says, regulate the football stream, normal concept. You know, never happened. Never, never catch on. Never catch on. But we're done for tonight. See you, see you tomorrow, 1.30. Josh, put a camera up there on the big man. Not on the camera. Not, not on the old, you know, the road there. Let's get some producing going on. <laughs> but we're back tomorrow, 1.30, with love, with care. Adios. You make me smile when I think of you. If I